So there's three more components we need to mount, according to his video, before we can test the SP32 and see if it can see the, uh, the two surface mount components. Apparently all the capacitors in the kit are the same value, so there's a capacitor that goes in here at C1. I'm just going to solder it straight away. Get the other glasses. A 10k ohm resistor, that's brown black orange, one zero followed by three zeros for the orange. He says you need to bend the leads very sharp against the package to fit into the pin spacing and hopefully that was tight enough. We'll find out. It was, but just barely. Lots of doggy excitement out there. And then finally we have a resistor network. This looks screens on the back of the board, so it mounts to the back of the board. The resistor network will have a dot towards where pin 1 is. There's a square pad in the PCB here. And it's got silk screen all the way around that indicates pin 1. So that really sits in there. Some of these puppies excited out there. And for this I'm going to use a piece of tape to just hold it in place and hopefully hold it somewhat square in place. And we'll tack one pin, check it for alignment, it's square and flush, and then solder the rest. If you get more than a few pins soldered actually, on a resistor array and it's, and it's in crooked, it's very difficult. to straighten back out. So it's pretty square. Doesn't have to be perfect. But neatness does count. I'm going to go to the other end. And take a look again. It's flush and square. And finish soldering it. really difficult to do and not get in the way of the camera. The thing I'm dealing with is I'm not getting my face as close to the work as I normally do. So the focus on these glasses isn't great. That looks good. 10k ohm resistor. That 0.1 microfarad capacitor could be squarer. I don't like the way that looks. I'm going to reflow this and just push it through a little squarer. That looks better. And then trim that extra little bit of lead off. We've added the 10k ohm resistor. We've added, the, uh, I think it's a 100 nanofarad capacitor. And we've installed the resistor network on the back of the board, being careful to get pin 1 on it to pin 1 is indicated in the silk screen. And as I've read the instructions, this should be enough now to get the ESP in, to get the SD card in, and to wake the system up. So we'll go down to the computer and give that a shot.